All right, so when we're talking about um, the spinal cord, it's four different um, syndromes that we'd like to talk about. Um, because they're at the level of the spinal cord, they're all upper motor neuron. Remember, it's before the nucleus or before whatever junction it is. I can't remember. Anyways, so um, there's going to be central uh, cord syndrome. There's going to be upper uh, anterior cord syndrome, posterior cord syndrome, and brown C cord, which is a bit different. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a simplified version. All right. I'm going to try to draw, again, don't laugh at my drawing. I'm going to try to draw, this is a spine, okay? Okay, this is a spine, all right? Now, I'm going to draw four spines. Okay, so uh, first in central cord, and when it comes to central cord, what happens is the middle part, you know how there's a, there's a small canal in the middle of the, the, the spine, which I can't remember what it's called, but anyway, if there is increased pressure here because of a tumor or something, and it just pushes the spine, it creates pressure in the spine from the mid, from the center outwards, all right? When we have that kind of pressure, this leads to central cord syndrome. And how that will present most commonly, because this happens at the thoracic level, sorry, at the cervical or thoracic level. I think it's mostly cervical level, isn't it? Because we always talk about um, upper limbs this it will affect the upper limbs more than the lower limbs um so basically you'd have weakness in the upper limbs only not the lower limbs it would affect upper limbs more than lower limbs and what can happen is i remember uh reading about a case uh in one of the mcq questions what happens basically is um a lady presents with uh, I don't know, she, she, uh, her hands are burnt, but she, uh, she can't feel pain uh, because she, uh, she can put her hand in boiling water. Basically, she lost sensation in her hand, uh, temperature sensation in her hand. But uh, a neurological examination, her lower uh, limbs are normal. Uh, upper limbs, there is some uh, affected sensations. Sometimes it's motor, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways... As soon as you hear only upper limb or upper limb much more than lower limb, you want to think about central cord. All right. Next is anterior cord where the anterior half is affected. I hope that's the anterior half. Otherwise, this is embarrassing. I think that's the posterior half, isn't it? Anyways, anterior cord. For anterior cord, for you to figure out that this is an anterior cord uh, syndrome, what you're going to do, uh, what, what you will probably see is lack no P T. Just remember no P T, okay? T is temperature. Temperature, hot. If you touch something hot, what would you feel? You'd feel pain, right? So P is pain. There is no P and T, no pain and no temperature um, sensations. So there is sensory loss of pain and temperature. Everything else is normal. Uh, position, vibration, um, uh, basically everything else is normal. No PT leads you to believe that this is anterior cord syndrome. Simple. Next is posterior cord syndrome uh, or dorsal column. So it's going to be the opposite because here we said no PT, no pain temperature. Here it's going to be no P 
P V. Now remember the the because I didn't want you to get too confused between P and P. That's why we start with temperature, temperature, hot, pain, P and T, pain and temperature. In P and V, this is V is vibration. And because it's not pain, it's going to be position. So loss of position and loss of vibration um, sensation. They cannot feel position and they cannot uh, identify uh, vibrations. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll come to this later when we talk about um, vitamin B deficiency and syphilis and whatnot, tapes dorsalis. We'll discuss posterior cord syndrome or dorsal column syndrome more. With better examples. Finally is BS, brown, sick ward. And there's probably some something over there. What happens with brown sick ward is half of the cord is affected. Now it could be any half. It could be the right half or the left half. But what's more important to know at this point is the affected half is going to be, the, the affected half is going to have loss of P, V, and motor. Now, because we said P, V, it's going to be position and vibration. Remember, P and V together means position and vibration. P and T together means pain and temperature. So, position and vibration. But because a lot of nerves cross. They cross two levels below. Okay, let me, I'll just go, I'm just going to draw. Oh my God, he looks ugly. All right, all right. We're doing okay, we're doing okay, okay. So, suppose the injury is at this level. Right here, okay? What's going to happen, he is going to be having the affection here but two um two spinal cord levels so if this is uh, i guess this is around his nipple so this should be around t4 so if we go down two levels uh, at t6 this side is also going to be affected but it's going to be affected differently Okay, just imagine it all the way down. T6. So, loss of position, vibration, and motor at T4. For example, this is the example we're giving T4. But there is also going to be loss of pain, temperature, and light touch at T4 plus 2. So that means T6. The reason I said T4 plus 2 is just so that you don't get used to that the injury is always at T4. It could happen at T6, and then we'd have loss of pain and temperature uh, and light touch at T6 plus 2, so T8. Okay? Uh, I'm just going to correct this. I'm going to put, let's say, Tn, and then here Tn plus 2. Okay? Brown seek word has pain, vibration, and motor at uh, TN or whatever and then there is also loss of pain temperature and light touch two levels below it so it's going to look like this okay actually this is the easiest to spot as soon as there is discrepancy between the level of um, one unilateral injury and the other unilateral injury uh, you just think of brown sick cord Central cord, as soon as there is upper motor, uh, upper um, limbs affected without the lower limbs, you think of central cord. Um, might, might be confusing to differentiate between those two, but like I said, just remember, anterior is PT, pain and temperature, lost. Posterior is PV, position and vibration, lost. Everything else, normal. Everything else, normal. Everything else normal. Okay? That is that.